Hello, I am Amber Irwin, co-founder of Social Speak Network. And a question that we get asked a lot by our clients is, how do you create professional looking images for your social media posts and your blogs? It can get a little pricey if you have a graphic designer that's creating every single image for your digital marketing strategy. So every social media image, every Pinterest image, every Instagram, or every Instagram, every blog, and so we wanted to talk to you today about a tool that we use for our clients called Canva. The one thing I really like about Canva is it's really affordable. Now we're talking about your social media posts and your blogs. If you are needing images for your website, your branding materials, we highly recommend working with a graphic designer and a branding expert to really pull in that voice. Once you've worked with a branding expert, you usually have a set of fonts and brand colors that then you wanna be able to incorporate into your social media posts and your blogs. And one piece with you know, social media is really to make sure that you have that brand consistency. So whether they're looking at you know, your website mobily, on the computer, they have a brochure, business card, social media post, they know that it is your practice from your brand's colors. And if you look at any large company, they follow through with that. You know, their TV commercials to their promotional products, their social media, their website, everything has the same look and feel. And that's exactly what you want to do with your social media marketing strategy. So I'm going to share my screen with this and I'm, we're going to dive right into Canva. And so Canva is, there's a free tool, a free side and a paid side. I think the paid site's only like $14.95. Highly recommend it. It does link to Pixabay. So there's free images in here and there are paid images. You can also upload your brand kit, which is really cool because like I said, we have those brand colors, those brand fonts, and you know we wanna make sure we have the right logos. So we can upload the logos in here. You can upload the exact brand colors and your brand font. So on every image, you know, our three, um, our three brand fonts are going to be this playlist script, um, this one, the playlist here, and then railway. And so on each of our images for our blogs or our social media, you're going to see one or all three, depending on the text of these fonts. You're also going to see our brand colors. Now, if you look on our website, you're gonna see more of these teals and the light um, mauve and beige. Sometimes what we have is accent colors. So we have a logo that is this yellow and this teal, and that helps kind of just make up that image pop, but it's still within our brand's colors. So we may not use this orange all the time, but we may use it as an accent color on one of the images. So this is a great way to really stay true to that brand that your design team have put in place. The other thing with Canva is if you click on create a design, they have every size you need. So this makes it really easy. You can do a poster, a logo, um, you know, a, a card, you can do brochures, but most importantly, you have all of your digital marketing templates in here too. You have a YouTube cover, you have, if you need help making your Twitter header the right size or your Facebook page, but most importantly, social media. So the social media template is what we use for Instagram and for Facebook. It also does work on LinkedIn. So let's just create an image. And usually, you know, I, this is my favorite part of social media is creating the images. And it's also the most time consuming because you want that image to be perfect. And so what I always recommend and what we do for our clients is we create what we call different templates. So we may create seven to 10 different templates for that client. So every, you know, all of their social media posts are going to have, you know, let's say these are the, the recent ones I've used. And so they're all going to be, within these seven to 10 templates with their branded colors, their brand fonts, um, and we rotate them. So I'm gonna show you today how to create that template for your, for your social media post. So 
With Canva, it will tell you if something is free or if you have to pay for it. So a lot of these, and they have by categories too. So if there's something specific that you are looking for, so let's just type medical. And they have all these different templates already in here. Now some of them are free and some of them are paid for. One thing that I recommend if you're looking at, let's say you love this template, but it is not free. You can purchase it. They're usually between like one and five dollars and then you can reuse them. But you can also create that image by yourself without having to pay for that template. So let's say we want to use these ones. So here are, so we'll make this one here. And um, this is, you know, it's World Day for Safety and Health at Work Today. So sometimes, you know, this is the National Nurses Day, Happy National Nurses Day. So sometimes they already have templates in here and, and you can go come in here and just change the brand colors. So we can just change this to the colors that um, you know we would have for our client. And then we can add our logo onto it. We would change the content here. So if we wanted to change this to an accent color, but then keep this message, we can do that. Or we can take out this content altogether and put in our own content. So once we have this template that we like, then what we wanna do is here, right here where you have this plus sign, you're going to click add new. So now you have page two. So then you're gonna come back over here and we really liked this template, but we didn't wanna pay for it. So it has a solid background and it has an image here. So you're gonna come over to elements and you're going to go to grids and click image. Now we don't want it to be the whole thing, so we're gonna bring it up, we're gonna size it how we want, and if you go back to templates, you could kind of take a peek at how that looks. So maybe you make this a little bit here, and a little bit there, and then we have text. So let's say we wanna add our, our logo, so we'll just use one of our logos that we have, one of our, let's actually look, we used, um, we did an image with American Diabetes Association. So let's add that. So let's go back to kind of that, that template. And so we can make this a little bit smaller by dragging in the corners. And then we wanna make it straight and you'll see the line. So Canva's really good at making sure things line up exactly how they need to be. Now the fun part of the text. So February is National Heart um, Month. So let's add in this. So we want to make this larger. So they have obviously different sizes that we can have. Maybe I want to make this really big. And then do this. And then National Heart Awareness Month. And let's make this larger. So I'm using my brand colors and I can move that content wherever I want it, okay? So if we go back to that template that we liked, we have the content here. Maybe we want this to align with that there. And then we want to have we want this to come up a little bit, and then we want to have in our, just like our website down here, www.artus.com, whatever your website is. Oops. And we want to bring this down here with maybe some contact information. So now we have, so maybe this is like your monthly image. Now we obviously need something here. So. You can type in, and sometimes, and so it will show you that, you know, these are the paid ones. If you click on to here, it will say free, and then you can apply filters. So you can pick any image that you, you want, you can do, and sometimes this, and again, this is where it can get a little time consuming. So you, it is, you do have to play around with this a lot because it's important to know like how to search for the different images. Um, and so let's just do a 
just for the sake of time, let's just do a, um, a heart. So we can just do something like this. And then, you know, February National Heart Associate or Heart Awareness Month. And so then now you have created this template. So then next month, all you have to do is come in, change February to March and put in whatever March's National um, Awareness Month is. Change out your the logo if you need to or move it down here. Add more content inf or contact information. So now we have two templates. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to add new page and go to templates again. Now, if you didn't like any of these, you can use any of these that you want and change it around. So I always like this one. I also like using ones that have the image in the back with the text overlay. I think that those are very clean and you just want to make sure that whatever your you know, brand messages, whatever that message is, you want to just make sure that this image is clean and easy to read. So this one's free. So let's say we like this, this outline here, we need to change this image. And we want to talk about, you know, let's do, let's see what pulls up for healthy. And so maybe you're doing, you're talking about healthy eating. So again, we're going to, you could just drag this image over on top of the image that's already there and it's gonna automatically replace it. So now you can change out your content here. You can change the background color if you want it to be one of your brand colors, you can do that. And so now we have three templates. So all you have to do is come in here each month when you're creating your, um, your, your content and there's two ways of doing this. If you come back to the, the main page here and you go to all of your designs, you can do, you can copy this design for each week. So every week, so rather than, I always like to be able to look back at the images and especially if you need to make a change, you don't want to have to recreate that image all over again. So you can come into here and you can um, the, the templates that we have created right here, we can then just click this and do make a copy. And then you can label them every week. So week of February 3rd, week of February 10th. And then you have, you know, five or seven um, templates in here with the content. So you can just download them. And again, you know, I would take some time with this to really look at you know, which templates do you like? You know, are you doing a lot of testimonials? Testimonials are a great way to promote your practice. So finding something that is, you know, so maybe something along these lines, um, you can do something like this where you have the testimonial here with maybe pictures of the staff that that patient is talking about. There's a ton of different templates in here. And the thing um, with Canvas are always adding new templates based on the holidays. So if you wanted to put out a happy Valentine's Day, there's templates here that, and again, even if you want to use this template, you can change these colors to your branded colors. And so that's a really great way to still, you know, have that, um, you know, those, those posts that are, you know, happy holidays, happy Valentine's Day, Groundhog Day, whatever you want to talk about, but still keeping that brand consistency. So take some time scrolling through here to really figure out which templates you want. And you don't have to always just use those 10. You know, maybe you have, you know, um, a brand template of 20 of them, you know, and then the one thing that's also really good about Canva is you can resize them. So let's say you want this image, you, you're doing this one and you did a video to go with it, but you want to resize it to the YouTube thumbnail. You can click resize and you can either create a custom size, Pinterest, um, you can type in YouTube, so this can be the YouTube thumbnail. So it's really, and, and it will look just like this, but in the YouTube thumbnail size. So it's gonna be easy to upload 
keep that brand consistency and not have to recreate that image. Like, okay, what size of font was this? What did I have here? It does all the hard work for you. So that is a great tool. Canvas, just something, it's simple, it's fun to use. You know, it does take a little bit of time in the beginning, but really, you know, once you have those brand templates down, that's, it's just changing the content and being able to download those and implement them implement them in your social media strategy. If you need help on how to create your branded templates, or if you would like help with the management of your social media marketing, we are here for you. You can head on over to socialspeaknetwork.com and schedule a free 30 minute consultation. And we would love to see how we can help you with your digital marketing strategy. Have a great day.